welcome to Stitchy Fix. I'm Victoria and this is my mom Chris. Hello. And soundtrack provided by my daughter Sophia who is in the background today. <laughs> um, how are you guys doing? Did you have a good week? We hope you did. Summer. We are breezing through summer. We are. But we had a great weekend. We saw so many friends and family. It was fun. So we haven't seen since the pandemic in yeah. person. I said she to was my friend today. I have mom brain on top of summer teacher brain, which is like a double whammy. Right. <laughs> Who knows? Really don't know what's going on. Anyways, yeah, we are selling um, like the stuff from our wedding that's just been sitting here for four years. So, yeah. it's all good. Space. Yes. yes. And um, you guys know that Chris has been renovating her basement. But today I'm getting a patio put in. <laughs> the last you are? minute. Yeah. Wow. I know. I didn't they know have that. dug up our backyard. <laughs> oh wow. Yes. So that's what's happening while we are hanging out at Mimi's house. <laughs> that's right. Today we had a fun afternoon though because we taught one of our friends how to cross stitch. Yay! And it's really funny. I think it's funny. Our banter is like, Chris does this, I do that. Chris does this, I do that. <laughs> Most of it's the same and she taught me. So um, we hope she has fun stitching a guinea pig. <laughs> she loves her guinea It's it's a very, she picked out the pattern. It's very and she'll cute. she'll love it. She'll be very happy when she's satisfied. But it's a really cute pattern of a guinea pig with lots of variegation in her coat. It's not a simple. Anyways, that's our little update. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie is having a good time today. And we had a good time getting ready for today because we have a lot to show you. We have a lot to show you guys. So, head into the cross stitch. Here we go. Um, I finished... Uh, another pattern. I'll show you the pattern. We'll start there and then we'll go in from. Right. So I had a finished cross stitch. This is my um, ornament because we're doing Jolly July. So this is out of Cross Stitcher Magazine and it's a Stitch Rovia, I believe, or just kind of in that gaze. And I love giving jars so that I can like put gifts inside or treats that I've made for the holidays. So Chris and I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday on a quick little adventure. Oh, I really wanted to find jars and I always typically do a mason jar which easily holds your cross stitch and it's like done. No luck on the size, the diameter. So we found a new jar and Chris finished it for me. You want to see it? You guys yeah. want to see it? <laughs> yeah. Sophia, you want to yeah, see yeah. it? Yeah. 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 Okay, okay, go ahead, Mimi. Okay, so. So my stitching, her finishing. Her stitching and she wanted it on a jar. So, voila. Ta -da. Ta -da. It's got, so this is a circle finish with two layers of batting. Then I did the running stitch around the circle and pulled it tight. Then I did some lacing to hold it in. And I did, I told Victoria's gonna make like six of these for her friends. Um, by the sixth one, I'll have a little bit more expertise at it because I realized they pulled a little tight on the batting on one side if you I don't know if you can notice it but then we put this um, kind of like organza and satin ribbon so that the ribbon covered the edge <laughs> but there's a it. little bit of a lip oh yeah so we went to treat so we're really happy with it and you can't really see anything mucky from this side yeah so that's kind of and it's a good. perfect like the bigger the mason jar, like the, the more taller, stuff. and I was like, I can't be feeling yeah. all that. So, um, and right now they're 50% off at Hobby Lobby. So, um, I was going to yeah. say the item number. Oh yeah, item number is 948992. If you want to find it. Sophia wants it. But it's like a perfect size, and we spent, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes trying to figure out what color ribbon to go around. And this is um, fabric flare, so there snowflake, are huh? snowflakes on the fabric itself. I don't know if you can see it, it's not focusing on it, but we were gonna go with the blue. The green looks great, I love it. I think it looks more festive, and it was lighter weight looking. Yeah. And as I get better, I'll figure out like the right amount of tension all the way around. Yeah, so, yeah. One. so that was first finished, fully finished stitching and fully finished object. Last week you saw my fully finished 
stitching of What Child Is This? And Chris can show you how she finished it for me. So we asked everybody whether she should have two, two-sided or one-sided. So she went with the two-sided. We have a little silver ribbon between the sandwich. Uh, it's a pipe cleaner. It's a, oh, sorry. This, the ribbon is to yes. hang on the tree and then the Victoria had the pipe cleaner. And I did this just right straight on the sticky board with no batting. But I still did the um, the circle finish with the running stitch, and then lacing it, and then gluing it down. And it's very light. It, it, it might not seem it, but do you not love her painting? Again, I think she did an exceptional job on that universe painting. Yes. Yay! Yay! So yeah, and the wood was very light. And then I came over on Sunday. I do remember that. And she's like, "Go downstairs. I finished something for you." So uh, I don't know. Five videos ago, ten, six videos ago, I finished Honey Bunny, um, which was a Priscilla and Chelsea pattern. And I put it on, what was that called? Berry Blast, 14 count Ada. And I had bought a board from Michael's. Michael's. And we took off the bunny and then Chris finished it. So we want to show you, cause you just finished. Yeah, this really, this was tricky and it turned out really nice. Because Sophia's a honey bunny. He's a bow. See the little bunny in the grass? So I'm going to step this back a sec. So this is not a frame. This was just words in this blue frame. So I had to, well basically what I did is I, I kind of traced. You know how when you were a child you used to take a pencil or crayon and go over something that had ridges to get the shape? Well, that's what I did to get the exact shape of filling in this this opening. And then I cut the mat board to fit that. Then I cut the fabric to fit that, glued that all permanently in, and then I needed to finish the edge where the fabric was because there's no indentation to wrap the fabric on this because of the depth. You can see there's not much depth here. So then I found in my stash of ribbons this white creamy um, sequin. sequin trim. And then we did the bow, which actually covers the ooky spot where there was a bunny and it kind of got all like messed up with a little pink button to match pink in there. And then I took some greens and I had a bunny button. Can you see the bunny button? I can't see bunny in the greenery down here at the bottom. So I think that that kind of balanced out the whole shebang. And this was a Michael Whimsical Woodlands frame. I can see it on the bottom. Yeah. And I adore it. It's so, so cute. So a little spring in Jolly July. Well, speaking about spring, that yeah. is the only thing. So I had to finish, and I, I don't think I had the pattern with me last time, which was Spring Wishes. So this was what this was one of my own personal challenges. Well, actually, it's one of my whip goes to to finish an, uh, a spring project, which I had started stitching a little bit during Stitch Mania, but I finished it, put it with the backing, and it's small enough. You can see where my hand is to go in my three tiered tray because I had done. I finished. If you look at prior videos, two other pillows for my Easter. Oh, there it is for my Easter spring tray. So yeah, it felt good to meet my goal to finish a project all of the above and all three of these finishes were different but useful yeah we are really bringing you the finish creativity here guys <laughs> we're trying to be creative <laughs> so we hope that it inspires you to finish something in a different way and you know every time we finish something we then buy 10 more things because that's what that means she buys 10 more things yeah she won't eat everything okay all right, Victoria, what did you work did on this week? Did you want to put this in your mouth? I can wash it. Okay. What did you work on this week? <laughs> so I continued my 25-7 of my wedding sampler, which is beachside wedding. We hold it up to the camera. Oh, I'll be Vanna White. White. And I don't know if you're gonna see much progress, but I'm working on these leaves on the top right corner. Oh, yeah, I see them. So those will be like, you know, rose leaves. Very nice. Yeah. So that was a little bit of progress. Sophia wants the thread. Sophia loves the thread. And then I 
was I finished stitching that Merry Christmas ornament. So that's two ornaments down for Jolly July. That's excellent. They're small, but that's pretty good. I mean, that's considering two before we did that's it. two gifts. Yeah, two gifts. Um, we never did it. And then I was like sitting there and I was like, I got this project bag for Christmas from this girl. It's super cute. So festive. And I bought myself because like I've too. been Hold seeing um, people do this. And this is Silver Creek Samplers, my Christmas list, which I just went on 123 Stitch and it said it was sold out. So maybe it'll come back soon. I don't know. Or maybe shops have it just, you know, sitting on their shelves. Super cute. I'm doing the Call for DMC, except I had a dilemma this week. So the called for blue, which is like the whole car at the top, is literally the same color of the fabric I picked, which I picked 14 count Ada Babbling Brook. Which is a beautiful fabric, by the way. Yes. I'll show you where I'm at so far. So this is the fabric, beautifully modeled. It's a little lighter than it's showing up. This is as far as I've gotten. Family visits, and I had all of this done, but I spent over an hour last night frogging it because it was one row off. Ugh. That's awful at the start. Oh. And so this blue, I'll show you one more time. This blue was essentially the same color as this fabric. So thank you to all my Instagram peeps. If you are on Instagram, you can follow us at Stitchy Fix. But um, Chris and I looked at like five different blues. Yeah. yeah. And it was actually pretty close. It was, it was 18 good. for the one I chose and you um, 11 yeah. for the third option. So people were divided. But the color I ended up going with is this color, 806. So the car will be much more vibrant than it typically calls for. But I'm having a fun time and it like stitched up pretty quick because I started this, this Nina Minor Saturday came night. Mm -hmm. Yep, this Nina Minor came on the bag, as Sophia's got. But that is all I stitched on this week. But a finish, a start, and a whip, and all the things. Yeah, it's time for me to show some whips. Okay, so I finished the spring one as you saw, and then I started on a big challenge. As you know, we discussed, and thank you for many people's input about how I was going to be excited about these polar bears again. Uh, this is the, if you don't know, it's the Dimension Stocking. Thing for my grandson. I originally did the snow part, not the snow bear, not the polar bear part, but the snow part with only two threads and it was not happy with the coverage. I have now added, this whole section up here has one extra thread over the stitch. Yes, correct Sophia. And I'm very much happier with the coverage and I also like the distinction between the polar bear which is full at crosses and these are half stitches. So, but it's just, really tedious to go over it again. <laughs> it looks so much better. But it, it really does do the job and um, I don't have to read a chart. I can watch TV and do this at the same time. Um, so I worked on that a, quite a bit. And then um, I worked on two days this week, which is my whip go to work on a project two days this week, but it's also Jolly July. So I'm working on Believe. Makeup. Okay, and I originally thought that I was going to do just a square a week, but I really like, she's got the charm in her, oh, it's just the hook. Yeah, yeah. But um, this I have to read all the time, unlike the white that's going over ex existing stitches. So I just was finishing off colors in the chart. So these two green squares. Up a little higher. There you go. This bottom one and this one have everything but pink in each of those blocks. And there's just a little bit more yellow in the word joy and then I'll be done that color as well. 
So that's Beautiful. it's a lot of progress because it. I mean, it's tedious it's, progress. It's you have to just read the chart because it just doesn't make sense until it does. So, um, <laughs> I I'm happy with myself. <laughs> Cross stitch work that sometimes. I keep, that I keep just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. It's really pretty though. Um, I think it'll be. I think it'll be great. I think it'll be great. I'm looking. I like it. I like it. We like All right, it. So that's what we we've been like working it. on. Um, we did go shopping yesterday for those finishing pieces. It was spontaneous. Yeah. Sophia had a good hour. We needed her to be busy yet another hour. No, I needed jars because I was like, we are finishing this. I finished the stitching and then we went shopping. Right. So we could talk first about our trip to Hobby Lobby. The, the, um, the Christmas stuff is just coming out so it's not on sale yet. But we found some fun, fun finishing Doodad. So we are doing the gift to you by showing you what they have. Yes, you must and you run can wait on, until they get on sale. But I feel like these are going to be gone fast. Yeah. Little striped buttons, many applications. Um, I have a an ornament for my brother who does skiing, and that's a little um, reindeer. Can you not resist that? Um, could not resist Mr. And Mrs. Santa Claus. Oh, we love these light bulbs. Christmas yeah. Lights. Love the gingerbread because I'm probably gonna do the Priscilla and Chelsea series. Okay, but this is the this is the best of them. We all. had to buy two packs. We bought two so packages. Excited. Cookie cutters! Oh my gosh! Can you stand it? Little gingerbread ones too. Little gingerbread too. All right, today's kind of a crazy day. <laughs> all right, one when more thing. It these days. Ready? Ready. Okay. One more thing we each got at Hobby Lobby is this amazing 30% off little end table. See this? It goes under your sofa, place for your other project bags you're not working on, and tabletop to work on while you're stitching and watching TV on your sofa or your chair or next to your bed. Love it. I think it was $41. $41. Okay, this is like an answered prayer, okay? So we had a good time finding those too. Okay. What else we got? Oh, should I just keep going? Did you get anything? Um, well, the only other thing is today on Instagram, I saw a post about Fan Girl Fibers is doing a Christmas Advent stitchy box that is Disney in the Parks themed. Holiday Disney in the Parks. And so I was like, <laughs> Screenshotting it like I don't even know 6 30 a.m. And I was like should I buy this? And Chris was like yes <laughs> No delay <laughs> so I bought one for advent this upcoming Christmas pre-ordered it and so did I <laughs> <laughs> All right, Whatever we love Disney we love Christmas come on so literally I think that's our third <laughs> Christmas stitchy advent box but they go so What's fast. The the, I did the Yule. I did the oh. Harry Potter Yule. Oh yeah, Yule Harry Potter Yule and through and Stitchy Black Boxes. Society. Is that through Black Needle? Yule Ball? Uh, Forbidden Fiber Co. Forbidden Fiber Co. Um, and then we have the Stitchy Box Advent. And, right. Countdown Box. I think that's called a Countdown Box. Yes. So I will put the links for all these Advent Boxes if you can get a pre-order. And just run there, okay guys? Like, no delay, because I really wanted to get the nice list from Black Needle Society. Sold out literally hours, a few hours, right? Yeah, it was fast. It was fast. So that's one of my haul items, but it's like delayed haul. <laughs> right, not immediate gratification. Not immediate. I, on the other hand, had some immediate some gratification. Immediate. Well, um, so, the day we went to Hobby Lobby, that was just yesterday, right? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, I remember what day it is. Um, I went, had already gone to Michael's because I have joined um, Shannon and Christine's um, 2021 Halloween Club ornaments. And Which is $8 a month. $8 four times. That's all there are. Yeah. And look at, look at these beautiful colors. Aren't these fun? Literally such, like, perfect colors. Yes, I do think I'm going to put it on some shade of violet or purple instead of the tan. 
just to go with more of, you know, I have the more blue gray background. So I think that's why I'm going to use those instead of the browns. So that's fun. That's nice when that's in your inbox. I, I'm expecting the second installment here soon. Can people still join the club? To my knowledge, it's PDF, so I don't see why they couldn't. I will put the link down for that, too, okay, in yeah. case you want to join us. Yeah. Um, and then um, haul that I waited for is, um, I forget what, uh, Snug Harbor Crafts. Debbie! Debbie! Finished uh, and framed. She yeah. just showed it. The Halloween House series by Judith Kirby. Oh, yeah. Well, when she first showed that, I already had some of those houses. But she had referenced um, an LNS. Stitch where, in Time. Stitch. And I'm going to show the name up here so you can see it. It's Stitch in Time in Michigan. Um, they are the official people that can do the, the, her, the rest of her charts. And so while I was on the phone with them, not just for one of them, I got the other three that I didn't have. I'm just going to show you. Show them one at a time. One at a time? Okay. Yeah, they're so pretty. All right. One that I did not have was 12. One that I did not have was 14. And one that I did not have this was, was the Halloween one that Debbie did. Fifteen. Well, she connected it to the one I have number nine. Number nine, yeah. Right, I already had number nine. You want to show that back picture? That's what it looks like with them connected. Okay. So, again, that was from Stitch in Time in Saginaw, Michigan. So, thank you for your service. And I have to tell you, I can't show you, but with it came one, two... Three, four, five, six right here. Six, six free charts. And all these different papers. And one is from Autumn Lane Stitcher with Aaron had autographed it. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. So that was really fun. I really appreciate it. And I was um, fun speaking with the, with the people at the LNS and letting them know where we had heard about them and that we would be giving them a shout out. So. Thank you very much for your service. It was well worth the wait. And then, okay, I know this was an early uh, <laughs> joke. <laughs> no, Jolly July challenge was how many Priscilla and Chelsea patterns do you think Chris is gonna order? Okay, before she tells you, write down in the comments <laughs> how many you think are in her hand right now. Just go ahead. No peeking. Don't zoom ahead and find out. Just write a number in the comments. Let us know how many you think she has in her hand right now. All of their patterns or just the Christmas ones? All the ones that you have purchased since our last video. Oh, okay. Everyone got your number? Did you write it down? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is nine. But I, I fanned them all out on my desk and, and took a picture and showed Victoria and she goes, what are you doing? So there, I, so I'm going to start in reverse. I, I want to, I just, I just was in a mood. Okay. My, our other daughter, Lauren, she's a, she paints and she painted me this pot that has a little bumblebee on it with blue and white on it. And it's in the middle of our kitchen island. And I knew I needed to do some, one of their sunflower charts before this summer is over to coordinate with it. Like I have bees already in my house. I got this chart, the honey jar, which as you know, if you bought it, I did not realize it. This is the one that had the bonus. I got two. So technically, I guess I got 10 charts. I didn't want to miss 4th of July and I really did enjoy like this one, red, white, and blue. It's a dapper doodad with Uncle Sam in the mixing bowls. Okay, so I love that one. And then, um, Wait, I know- Also, because the sunflowers, um, Kimberly Jolly is doing Sunflower September in case you guys want to do that. Oh, that's right, yeah. So that would work for that. I um, thought I would do this for my mom because I haven't done any for pumpkin themed for her. And this is um, called Hello Pumpkin. I just, I, you know, the pumpkins are cute and it will go with her stuff. So I just wanted to do that before I really just needed a refreshing start and something new. Like I don't have enough. All right. So for Christmas, 
I have totally drank the Kool-Aid with the Jolly Jars. Jolly, Very Merry, and Jingle Jars. Who can resist them? Not me. Me, I can resist them. Yeah, wait until she sees my Christmas tree that's gonna look amazing. <laughs> because you know I have a whole new basement that's like a whole living space that needs a whole new Christmas tree. Wait, just to clarify, how many Christmas trees do you put up in your house? I don't know, five? Five Christmas trees, guys. One, one Minimum. two, three, And we will four, have to give five. you a tour, because my dad built. Oh yes, oh yes, yes, yes. A wooden Christmas tree of sorts. Yes. We will tour it in the, in the winter. Wait, we will, we will tour the, the Christmas trees. Oh, that would be fun. You would really love them, they're really cool. My anyway. husband's favorite Christmas tree is the childhood ornament tree. Yeah, where with he just pictures of her. Horrible photographs of myself in ornament form. Yeah. So anyway, so the three Jolly Julys and two Dapper Doodads, the Gingerbread, Gingerbread Bakery and Holly Jolly. And I might add, I believe I did purchase the Gingerbread ornaments from last Jolly July. So I'm going to hopefully add those to my collection. So wouldn't that be cool to have a whole tree of those? Of Gingerbread, yes. Yes, of Gingerbread. And I am probably not going to do them on black. Um, you guys, ice cream truck! We just, if everything's gonna go wrong or interrupt today, yeah. This is so happy. <laughs> I mean, I was sprinting out of the house to get some ice cream back in the day. <laughs> no fooling. True. Yeah. True. And I would scour the car for quarters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, also in the comments down below, what is the treat of choice from an ice cream truck? That'd be interesting to know. Yes, it would. What's yours? Sorbet. Ice cream, ice cream sandwich. Which, the regular. Regular old, fully fat. Rectangular. Rectangular, three flavors on the inside. Neapolitan, no vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. And then the chocolate on top. And mine is? Not diet, not fake, real. Chocolate chip cookie sandwich. Yeah. Ice cream sandwich. Yeah. Now, the Nestle Toll House was my jam. And it was always one of the most expensive ones. So I really had to scour for those quarters. I don't even know how much the ice cream is now. I don't either. Anyway, the only other thing I wanted to share with you is that I'm gonna probably be doing the the Christmas or the gingerbread and the series ornaments on um, Icelandic blue. So I'm going to be, um, no, I'm gonna use the DMC conversion for the jars, the 598. We decided that was going to show with up on fabric. here. We, with we tried fabric. a couple of different combos, like change the jar, change the fabric. Yeah, well, they've seen peeps of. Oh, I have one more, one more thing I purchased. Yeah. They, what so have they seen peeps of? The basement, which is like magical blue. So you'll see why that will work out well. The other thing is, remember, I'm working on um, different sets of ornaments, and I did the Noel that was a bendy stitchy. Um, ornament. Well, she has one other Christmas one. One. It's actually probably not an ornament, but if I did it on 18 count, it would look like an ornament. And it's called trimming the tree. So this is what happens. We finish like one or two things, and we have like 20 more we can do. It's fun. It's just all fun. We just start whatever we want. I, that's me. That's my perspective. Whatever's closest in hand and I feel like stitching, that's what I go for. Well, I love this new table because it's really easy to just have it right there beside me to work on. And the sofa. Yes. Also, so what are your plans for this upcoming week? I'm gonna, okay, plans is I'm going to keep working. My goal is to finish one of the, like, bands of the family, Chris, or my Christmas list. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking about doing another ornament that I didn't start this week that I would like to. But it's going to be, guys, it's going to be a, a busy week because I'm going to be single mom vibes for a week. My husband has a big work thing. Event. Where he's going to be in the city. So it just will be me oh, yeah. and Zoe hanging out. And uh, oh. not sure how much stitchy time. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. One thing you want to say? The one thing you want to say? Okay, plans. Those are my plans. What are your plans? My plans are Christmas. Christmas. 
Christmas. Christmas. I do have to work like six days out of seven at work this week because we have a special event on Sunday. So I might not get as much done as I got done this week. That's okay. But it's okay. It's all good. And then that following weekend, my husband and I are going to downtown Chicago for a weekend away. It's doing, their anniversary. It's our anniversary. So. 39 years? 39 years. I was very, very young. She's only 35. I don't know how she did it. She worked in reverse. Anyway. Um, yeah. So, anyway. Yeah, that's what's coming up. I'm excited. I'm excited to do Priscilla and Chelsea stuff. Yes. And... Thank you for helping us get to 900 subscribers. Yes, thank you. 900 is a huge number. And we're still working really hard to get to 1,000. We're hopeful, but um, we just thank you for being here. So if yeah. you'd like to see more of the chaos that ensues, <laughs> <laughs> please subscribe. Press that button and you'll know. <laughs> I'm so happy Victoria knows how to edit well. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so you'll know when we post. We do try to post every week, so we're really working hard on making progress. Yeah. I will be making some probably separate videos of crafting for the classroom, but I will share that with you guys too. So you can see kind of the endeavors that I go through to make my classroom environment the one that I want it to be and a place where children are seen and loved and cared for. So. I will bring you along. Time is counting down, guys. <laughs> a few more nice weeks of summer. Yes. Anywho, we hope you have the best week and stitch as much as you want or as little as you want. And we will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye. Hello, friends. Hello, friends.